Bluey fans received a phenomenal third season, which tested the boundaries of the series' standard seven-minute formula. The special The Sign began the solid send-off for the season, as it followed the Healer family throughout monumental life changes. Not only were Uncle Rad and Frisky finally getting married, but Bandit and Chili had decided to sell their home and their entire family headed for a new life in the city. After a story full of emotional ups and downs, the season concluded with an episode all about family, showing what it means to become a parent and how Bluey's upbringing impacts her future, influencing how she raises her child, who debuts for the first time in Surprise's Fast Forward sequence. After such a satisfying finale, fans were eager for more, which led to the release of mini-episodes during the summer. These smaller episodes provided glimpses into the healers' lives, returning to the bite-sized adventures that fans have come to expect from Bluey and her family. Today's video will discuss how the mini-episodes prepare fans for the upcoming fourth season. Number 1. Refocusing on the Healer Family Bluey is a rare animated series with a revolving door of supporting characters. Dozens of dogs make recurring appearances throughout the seasons, from the workers in their town to Bluey's many friends. As the series progressed, episodes began to show more of the supporting characters' personal lives and experiences. While Bluey and Bingo may appear in these episodes, the healers often take a back seat in favor of telling new narratives about the other characters. The third season includes episodes like Space and Cricket, which dive into the lives of Mackenzie and Rusty, exploring how their experiences have shaped them. The mini-episodes abandon this approach to focus on the Healer family. The seven episodes released during the summer don't include anyone outside the Healer family, with most featuring Bluey, Bingo, Bandit, and Chili. These episodes feel reminiscent of the original episodes when fans were still learning about the family of four and their dynamics. For example, the mini-episode Hungry shows Bandit giving his all into a game that he ropes Bluey and Bingo into playing. At the same time, Chili watches from the couch, adding to the game's immersion with witty commentary. There are also mini-episodes about the extended Healer family. Bluey and Bingo spend the afternoon with Nana Chris during Letter, where they read something Bandit wrote as a child. Muffin Unboxing reveals that Muffin has an online channel where she unboxes and reviews toys. The channel must be popular as a toy brand sends her a toy dump truck to review, complete with a pre-written script. It seems like the fourth season may keep these ongoing trends, focusing more episodes with the healers and their extended family. Number 2. More Emphasis on Bingo As the titular character, it's no surprise that Bluey receives more screen time than the other characters in the series. She appears in nearly every episode and plays a pivotal role in most plots, leading her family members on adventures or helping friends create fun games. Bingo certainly takes a backseat to her older sister, as the series rarely explores her personal life at school and only has a handful of episodes showing her friends, like Lila. The minisodes seem to rectify this by giving more emphasis to Bingo. In Bingo 3000, Bandit and Bingo pretend she's a defective product, incapable of putting her legs down as advertised. After several failed attempts to unfold Bingo 3000, Bandit pretends to call customer service, going through a one-sided phone call with which many adult viewers could sympathize. Bingo, meanwhile, finds the entire experience amusing, giggling as she gives her dad a hard time. She also gets alone time with her mom during the minisode, Animals. Bingo and Chili sit together on a park bench, perhaps taking a break after a full day of playing outdoors. Bingo lays across Chili's lap as the two play an animal game. Chili names off wildlife while pretending Bingo's back is the grassy plain they walk across. She calls out animals like cheetahs, antelopes, and even a dinosaur. The fourth season may show more of Bingo's life, allowing her to share the spotlight with Bluey by showing her school day, play dates, and how she interacts with her classmates. Number 3. Written for the Parents while Bluey is a fantastic children's series with good life lessons and fun premises, part of its popularity comes from an audience of all ages enjoying it. The series has a fan base that ranges from children to adults, and it's easy to see why. Many of the episodes and the dialogue between characters feel relatable to adults, especially when the series' parents have the chance to interact with one another. Episodes like The Sign feel targeted toward an older audience as the plot explores the complicated feelings someone may have when faced with significant life changes. Frisky has second thoughts about marrying Rat Chili struggles with the idea of leaving their home, and Bandit wrestles with the decision of uprooting his family from everything they know for the chance of a better paying job. These premises would easily go over the head of a younger viewer, so the writers of Bluey purposefully sprinkle in these stories from time to time to cater to the older audience who watches the series alongside their younger family members. The fourth season will likely continue this trend as the minisodes do the same. The best example of this comes from the minisode Three Pigs. Bandit must retell the story of the three little pigs before bedtime. 
but he's tasked with making the original story funnier. With help from Bluey and Bingo, Bandit continues with the tale of three pigs, two of which he's renamed Gruey and Jingo. Throughout the retelling, Bandit references door-to-door -door salespeople, getting out of jail for good behavior, going vegan, and more. These minuscule details make Bluey and Bingo laugh. Still, they're even funnier to the adult viewers who can follow the references and comedic nuances Bandit is filling his story with, perhaps for his amusement rather than for his daughters. Number 4. Bandit's History Some of the best episodes of Bluey follow Bandit and Chili's adventures when they were younger. The episodes often contain important lessons about growing up while providing insight into the pair, showing how their childhood experiences have shaped them as people and influenced how they chose to raise their children. One example is Fairy Tale, when Bandit tells Bluey and Bingo what he calls a real-life fairy tale before bed. The story follows him and his brothers growing up in the 80s, most notably the summer holiday when Bandit learned that teasing his younger brother isn't as fun as he thinks. There are very few instances throughout the series where Bluey and Bingo tease one another, likely because Bandit learned from his childhood experiences and encouraged the sisters to be patient and kind to one another. Bandit and Chili also keep most of what Bluey and Bingo make for them, with their fridge often overflowing with drawings from their children. This dilemma is unsurprising because they're sentimental and caring parents who encourage Bluey and Bingo to practice their skills. However, Bandit's willingness to keep his daughter's creations may come from his mother. In the mini-sewed letter, Nana Chris finds a letter Bandit made while learning to write and reads it aloud to Bluey and Bingo. Despite the many spelling errors, the three learned that Bandit used to have a bird, liked spending time with his brothers, and disliked his mom's lasagna. Fans would love more episodes like this in the fourth season, providing more details about Bandit and Chili, especially their childhoods, with examples showing how these experiences shape how they interact with Bluey and Bingo. Number 5. Simple Family Fun if the minisodes act as the precursor to the fourth season, then fans can expect more of the simple and old-fashioned family fun that they've come to experience from Bluey. Many minisodes provide snippets and glimpses of the Healer family during their daily lives. They play games, tell stories, goof around, and find themselves in funny yet relatable situations. The same is true of the former three seasons, as exploring the Healer's daily lives makes Bluey engaging. It adds a layer of realism despite the series being about a family of cartoon dogs. It's unlikely that the next season will stray from the thing that Bluey has managed to perfect throughout the years. The third season of Bluey delivered an emotional and impactful journey for fans as the Healer family faced significant life changes. The season finale left viewers eagerly anticipating more, and the release of mini-episodes during the summer provided a delightful continuation of the beloved series. As we look forward to the upcoming fourth season, it's clear that the minisodes have effectively prepared fans for more heartwarming and entertaining adventures with Bluey and her family. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads.